A Hicksville couple will go in front of a grand jury later this month. Police accuse them of not seeking medical attention for their dying son hours after he was born in 2016. The church they attend is part of the investigation, but little is known about it. We talked to a religious studies expert about where religious freedoms stop and social responsibilities begin. Sarah and Jared Stark are said to be members of the Gospel Light Tabernacle Church in Hicksville. Very little can be found about it online, and repeated calls to the church by News Channel 15 have resulted in hang-ups. However, the Defiance County Sheriff's Office says the church is part of the investigation as to why the Starks may not have provided medical attention for their son Ezra. He died 10 hours after birth. He was found on the Starks' property last month. IPFW professor of history and religious studies Quentin Dixie is not familiar with the Gospel Light Tabernacle Church or the Starks case. However, he says similar cases have come out of other churches across the country. Modern medicine for these people probably shows a lack of faith. Someone who puts their trust in the world rather than God uh, is showing a, a real lack of faith. Dixie says these groups are small and they're hard to find online. He says along with other things, they also may not open up to modern technology. These organizations function best through isolation. Uh, so you find small churches, also often family-based churches. A grand jury will decide if the Starks will be charged with felonies. If so, the prosecutors will file the charges, most likely leading to more details about if the church or religious beliefs are connected and why police did not start their investigation into the baby's death until a year and a half after it happened. Dixie says there's not a hard and fast rule for the courts when dealing with crimes and religious beliefs. If certain medical attention is available that's life-saving, right, often the courts have ruled the parent has responsibility. How far do we go if it's something as simple as not vaccinating a child based on one's religious beliefs? Um, is that different than not providing, you know, vital care? The Starks are both preliminarily charged with child endangerment. Jared Stark is also charged with abuse of corpse.